Hello and welcome to the world of recipes. I'm Vaishali. As you know, we all are locked in the house. We cannot go to the restaurants to enjoy our favorite food, especially butter naans and tandoori rotis that we think we cannot make at home. It is possible. Today I'm going to show you easy way to make butter naan at home that too on tawa. So let's see the ingredients. For making butter naan, we need 2 cups of maida or all purpose flour, 1 cup wheat flour, salt about 1 teaspoon, dried yeast half tablespoon, sugar half tablespoon, oil about 1 or 2 tablespoons and butter to apply on the naan. Let's start making dough for butter naan. I have taken 1 cup of warm water here. To this water, I am going to add this dried yeast and sugar for the activation of yeast. Let's mix it nicely. Cover it and keep it resting for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, this yeast has activated now. Now we are going to add this flour, 2 cups maida. And one cup wheat flour and we'll add in this salt and mix the dough this dough is ready my quantity of water was just perfect we need soft dough like this but if you feel that your dough is very hard then you can sprinkle some water and then knead it dough is ready now we'll add some oil about one tablespoon of oil i'll add here Cover the dough with oil properly and keep it resting for about at least for half an hour. After half an hour, this dough is nicely fermented now. We will massage it for 5 minutes. We got the perfect dough here. Let's start making our naan now. Use this metal tawa for making naans. You can make it on non-stick also because we are going to hold it on fire, so it may uh, damage your non-stick tawa. But if you don't have any metal tawa, you can use your old non-stick tawa for this purpose. Now this dough is ready. Now we'll make small balls, it's smaller than golf ball size. It's like gulab jamun size. So I'll make all the balls and keep it ready. The balls are ready. It is going to make around 15 naans of this size. Now let's start rolling it. We use some dry flour for rolling. We roll it in an oval shape. These naans are small. If you want to make bigger size, you can do that also. It will make around 10 to 11 bigger size naans with this dough. Now this naan is rolled. Now we'll apply some water on the top portion of the naan here. It will help it to stick to the tawa. It's also hot here. Now we'll transfer this naan on the wet surface down. You can see. We're going to cook it on a medium flame. You can see all the bubble formation on the naan. Now you can see many bubbles have formed on the surface of naan and the color also has changed little bit that means it is cooked from the bottom. Now we will increase the flame. It is on the high flame right now and we will hold this tawa on the flame like this. 
so that this naan cooks from the top surface also keep moving it now as you can see all the browns on the naan this is cooked from this side now as it is butter naan we are going to apply some butter on top if you want to make garlic naan you can add some crushed uh, garlic to the butter we will load the flame take out this naan from the top you can see, see this naan it is as crispy as restaurant naan and it is cooked from both the sides very well you can serve this with veg or non veg curry today i am going to serve it with a egg curry enjoy this butter naan with any kind of gravy veg or non veg thanks for watching this recipe for more recipes keep on watching world of recipes